Hey there, guys. Mrs. Kang here, ready to um, work on the homework that I have sent, the phrases. So what I want you to do, take a look at the screen and uh, get out this um, sheet that I emailed. It is your a Latin noun ending sheet. Uh, this first declension, I want you to go ahead and get a pink highlighter. And I want you to highlight um, the outside of it, the first declension, and then the endings. Ah, uh, I, I, um, ah, uh, I, arum, is, as, is. Okay. I want you to write the word feminine in it. And you can write it in pink if you want. And we're going to be using this chart to answer our questions. Now, I did all these in class. So I'm just going to start at seven. Our room is the ending. Our room. I told you Latin's all about stems and endings. I told you how to decline a noun. I want you to decline. We could actually finish this one, right? How do you decline a noun? What does decline mean? Um, decline means to, to take your noun. Um, there's two parts of a noun. And show me how it's operating in the sentence. When you see V-I-A or F-A-S-S-A, -S -S -A, when you see A, A tells me it's operating in the sentence as the nominative. Another word for nominative is subject noun. And if you look up here at the top of your chart, it's nominative, abbreviation is N-O-M. And G-E-N means genitive. This one is showing possession. D-A-T is dative. It's the indirect object. Accusative is the direct object. And ablative is the object of the preposition. So Latin is all about endings and stems. Stems and endings. So when you decline something, you put the, um, you write the stem t 10 times because there's five parts of speech, singular and plural. And then you put the endings on, right? Uh, at the noun case endings. Ah, uh, I, I, am um, ah, uh, I, arum, um, is, as, is. Yeah. And then you write the English. All right. Those are, that's what you had to do for homework. Now, these phrases, our room, our room is right here. Meta, if you remember, was the butterfly, was turning point or goal. Our room has the little English word of, of of the turning points or of the goals, okay? A-S is right here. Ah, uh, I, I am um, a, uh, I, arum, um, is, us, us. It's a direct object, also known as accusative. What gender is us? It's feminine. What number is us? Plural. What job, what noun case? Accusative. And so we are going to parse it up here, guys. Pl feminine, plural, accusative. And they, it's, that's translated the same as the subject. So this is of the goal or of the turning points, two or four of the goals, the goals. Remember, you have two choices that you can translate that word, turning point or goals. Pagina means page, page. And what's the ending? A, it tells, I told you, it's a subject now. <clears throat> it's first declension, it's feminine, singular, feminine, singular, and um, what's it? what did I just say? Nominative. And it means page. You can either say page or the page. Doesn't matter. The article adjective the and or a has no translation. So you can just add it whenever you feel like it. This is a e. Oh, look, I didn't do any endings here. That's the indirect object, which is right here. That is two or four of the page. Right? Page of the page, two or four of the page. Oris. So, and if remember, I want you to parse it. And, you know, I'm kind of lazy. I'll just admit that. Gender number case. I'm very lazy. I don't like looking up things. I don't like, I, just, I don't like it. And you know, like, okay, well, I'll do it anyways. You know, you got to do it. You got to do, got to build a strong foundation. If you take shortcuts in the foundation, 
you're going to know gaps. Don't take any shortcuts. Gender number case. Gender number case. All right. And it means to the page or for the page. All right. Ories. That's those lights, those, those, those beautiful lights, breeze, shh. It's, I see IS over here. It's feminine plural ablative. Feminine plural ablative by the breezes. I don't know if we talk like that. Do we? I think we make it um, breezes um, plural, maybe. But feel the breeze. We don't say breezes. Mr. Kang says breezes. <laughs> All right. Anyways, aurum. There's breeze again, but look at the ending. A.M. Um, what I love about the first declension is A.M. There's no other A.M. in here. So it's always direct object. That's kind of easy to remember. And A.S. There's no other A.S. So these are always the direct object. And remember, their direct object is translated in English just like the subject. So this is um, the breeze. And if I were to answer those questions for parsing, it's feminine. It's singular. Because remember, it's right here. So it's feminine, it's singular, and it's accusative. Feminine, singular, and accusative. All right, this one, A-E. And you know why I did this? Um. Oh, there it is. See it? it I said I-O. I-O is another word for dative. See that? Regina means queen. So it's feminine. It's singular and it's dative. Feminine, singular, dative. And it means to the queen or for the queen. So these little phrases the book does not have. Um, and I created them so that you'd be really strong in doing these. Um, and understanding the word. A-S. If you're like, mom, she gave us too much work. You know what? Then do... Um, do some, do some. And I feel like with some of you, if I say do some, you'll uh, do none. Um, ultimately, here's the thing, guys. Nobody can force you to do anything. Or they can force you, but your brain can be out to lunch. So my prayer is that you would embrace this and actually want to learn. That's what my prayer is. I, can, I know we have some uh, learners anyways. You guys just love to learn. You come ready. You're ready. You want love to learn. And you can't wait. So Reginas is queen. This is an AS. It's a direct object. It's plural. So here we go. It's first declension. It's feminine. It's plural. And it's accusative. It's feminine. It's plural. And it's accusative. And it means the queens. Insulai Island. Okay, what's that ending? A-E. All right, let's take a look at that A-E. Where is it? We could be here, here, and here. Well, I told you it's the subject noun. So it's feminine, plural, and nominative. Am I going too first fast for you? The islands. The islands. All right. Oh, here's the island again. And look at the ending. A-R-U-M. All right. That little teeny weeny word of the islands. You got to put a of the. Now let's look at the, um, the gender, the number, and the case. It's um, feminine. It's plural. And it's um, genitive. All right. Patria. It's the subject noun. This means fatherland. Where's fatherland? There it is. Or country. Um, it's right here. Okay. So it's feminine, singular, and uh, subject nominative. Sorry. You know what? I'm doing a lot in so long. Nominative means the same as subject noun to me. So it's feminine. It's singular. And it's nominative. There it is. So find the ending on the chart and then just track it. Gender, number, and then the case. So it means the country. And for this first page, A-R-U-M, 
is right here. We did it before right here. What's that little word that we need? Of, of. Patria is country, and this is the plural section of the countries. Make it an S. And let's just parse it. You ready? Gender. Where's the A A R U M? It's right here. Gender is feminine. It's plural and it's genitive. Feminine, plural, and it's genitive. All right. We just did the um, first page. Let me just get the second page. And because you can do these, you can do these. You can totally do these. If you, you see the endings right here, right? A E, A E, A E, A S. But here's what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and um, do with you right now the um, a sentence, and then I'm going to do an English. So here we go. Let's do this one right here number 24 and 25 let's 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 do that so regina the a tells me this is the subject do you remember what regina means the regal the queen the queen so this means the queen right and amat means loves the queen loves oh fail mrs king you meant that up here the queen the queen loves. And look at the ending, guys. Look at the ending on that. See that T? See that T ending? What person is that T? Third. What number is that T? Singular. Now, this is what I want to show you. T means he or she or it, right? That's what it says. He, she, or it. But T can also be a replacement. It's a pronoun. We can replace queen. She. She can replace queen. She, the queen she loves, we're not going to translate it like that. We're going to say the queen. Replace she for the queen. The queen loves. Yes, the T means he, she, or it. But if you have another word in the sentence that can operate as the subject, then get rid of the he, she, or it. That's a pronoun. The queen loves. And then this one is also the same stems, but they were in the plural column. Look at this, A-E, we're in the plural column. And there's something in grammar that the subject and the verb must agree in number. So if the subject has a plural ending, that means that the verb has to have a plural ending. Did you hear what I just said? That's a really important concept that you can't really see in English, but you can see it in Latin. You see the plural column, you see the plural column, the subject and the verb have to agree. So A-E is plural column and T is in the plural column and they agree in number. They're both plural. So this would be the queen's love. What's funny about this, I have some students say, hey, there's an S on there, it's plural. No, it's not plural. It's just how we talk. All right, good. Now, well, let's do English. Let's do English. Here we go. Let's do English. With is a preposition. And what is um, ditch? Do you remember the stem for ditch? F-O-S-S. -S. We need an ending because Latin's all about stems and endings. So write the stem in. F-O-S-S. -S. And I know that because there it is. F-O-S-S. -S. There's the stem. Now, with this one, this is an ablative. So I'm going to have this ending on the end. That's what I'm going to have. And I'm going to put a long mark over it, which means preposition. That literally means with the ditch right there. And the ending gave it away. All right, let's do another one by the ditch. Hey, same one. Hey, look at this from the ditch. Same one by with or from. Now let's look at this uh, sentence right here, amat. Notice I started with the verb first. You can do that. Uh, T means he, she, or it, right? What about that verb? What does AMA mean? Love. Now, orum. Do you remember what orum is? Shh. It's breeze. Let's look at the ending. A, M. It's a direct object. Okay. So let's say she. 
Let's say the subject pronoun is she. She loves the breeze. This is pattern two in Shirley Grammar. She loves what? Breeze. Verify the noun. Does breeze mean the same as she? Oh, breeze, direct object. She loves the breeze. That ending am tells us right away that it is the direct object. So we'll get more into this. I didn't want to overwhelm you with all these translations, but go ahead and do that for your uh, homework and you'll be immersed in the words, learning them and the endings. That's the point. Okay, see you next time. Bye.